So nothing makes my heart sing more than a fresh new year planner um, and calendar, like paper, the physical stuff. But I, I found like it's the planners I was looking at online and even in person, like they didn't quite check all my boxes. They weren't quite meeting my needs. Um, so this year I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to make my own planner. <laughs> it's going to be like comprehensive and I'm going to show you how it goes. So this is embarrassing, but like I have like this stack of papers that's just like sitting on my desk and I have to like kind of like move it around because I don't have like a place for them. Like we have like a, a filing cabinet, I guess, but like there's some papers I want like more on hand um, and not like tucked away in a filing cabinet. So I opted for more of a like big binder, planner, journal, notes, documents, Polaroid photos probably this of this year. Um, just like everything, like a holistic life planner is what I'm going for this year. So the first thing I did was pick up a planner from Staples, um, just a very plain one. Um, my only regret is buying, <laughs> buying the one with the plastic like coating on it or like the protective layer that you can like put sheets of paper in. Um, and it's on the inside too with pockets. And so I had to like rip all that off. I had to like use a knife and like get it all off. So if you're doing this, don't buy the, don't buy the binder with this stuff on it. Um, and then I used, um, I like Googled covering your binder with, covering a binder with paper. And there's like all of these, you know, horribly ugly paper tutorials that are actually quite helpful um, online. So I just like kind of followed um, a guideline from that and it was quite helpful. My favorite part of this project was choosing a typeface. So I found um, a little while back, I had like saved a website. I had like Googled like free typefaces um, and this website came up and um, there were a lot of really beautiful ones to choose from and they have free downloads available, so you don't have to pay for them. Um, the only tricky thing is not all of like the glyphs that are like advertised there are available necessarily. Also, I used to call them fonts, and then I married a graphic designer and I quickly learned like, no, those are, those are called typefaces. <laughs> anyway, so I think that was my favorite part of this project is choosing a typeface that would work, and then honestly like, is like previewing the final product, but I totally chose the words on my title page based on like, oh, I love how the Q looks and I love how the E looks and the R and like, so I totally like chose words that looked good with the glyphs available with this typeface. So it's a little bit random, Allie's Records, Quick Thoughts and Everything Else Planner, but I think it pretty much sums up what I'm looking for. Um, and then I have 2023 down here. Um, it was kind of an intense project as far as like putting the binder together, um, just because I didn't want anything like bulky here. So I ended up cutting two pieces of paper out um, that would fit the binder. And then I printed out my title page and um, I chose a quote that I find really inspiring. And then um, I put 2023 both on the spine um, and then I put 2023 on the front, of course, as well. I think the most tricky part was gluing it all together. So we, I used like this spray glue and it worked beautifully actually. I used the spray glue for the outside and glued all of the pieces on at one time. So I started with the back just to like get a little bit of practice in. So the back piece of paper covered the spine and then I did the front and cut it off right on the spine so it looked more purposeful and clean. And then I went around and used a glue stick to fold and glue the rest of it around. So. The tutorial I read online actually said to like cut the corners out, but I didn't mind the little extra, I guess you could call it bulk. I found how it like folded and 
ended up looking was nice. And then I, I really love how the inside of the planner turned out. I'll probably put some type of pocket or something here. I, I came up with 12 categories and got these little tabs that are, are quite minimal. Um, so they're clear when you put them on the paper and then you can write on it um, with pretty much anything. I'm just gonna highlight some of my favorite sections here. So daily records and task planner. So this is like my go-to. So I put it in the front and this just has you know, just regular lined notebook paper and I can always add more and I can shuffle things around. So this is just like my daily agendas, things that are happening, my plan for the day. And then um, my second tab is Cleveland Photographs. So that is our wedding photography business. And then next I have YouTube plans and progress, um, just what videos I'm gonna do, all of that. And then birthdays. And then this section, I'm. this took a long, <laughs> this took a little while to print but I love designing how the title pages looked. And then I love how the calendar turned out as well. One nice thing is, you know, I'm American, but I live in Canada. And so I wanted to put both Canadian and American um, holidays on my calendar, which I didn't have the luxury of having before. I manually put in all of the holidays and then I'll write in like birthdays and, and things like that. And I do use this function a lot just to like have a like a kind of big picture view of the month. One part of my planners I never quite could get a grasp on was like the weekly plans. So you, you could implement that here as well, which is, so I think I've designed this to really meet my needs and I love just the customizable nature of making your own. And then a few more um, categories I put in here. So I have like, my ideas, dreams, and inspirations. I have like so many ideas, I need to write them down and to get them out of my head. I have like finances, health and fertility journey, because uh, we're trying to get pregnant. Um, and then projects and event planning. So for example, like my mom is coming to visit Toronto in February. And this is the place where I'm gonna be putting together the itinerary for that. Like what meals we're going to eat, what coffee shops we're gonna to go to, all that good stuff. So, and then you have house and home. So this is just like projects that I wanna do. Um, so getting them down on paper. And then what I love about like being able to like open and close the binder is that I can take things out and rearrange them. Um, whereas like the notebook I was using last year, I would like write something down, but then the next day I would use it as my daily planner. But then I would like to develop the idea that I had written down like, you know, two pages before, but then it would be out of order. So it ended up just being like this chaotic thing. And I'd be like, I already wrote this out, but I don't know where it is. So this is a much needed reset organization tool that I'm really excited to use. I also have like a reading list. So all the books I'm reading this year, and then I'm working on my Canadian citizenship. So all of my paperwork for that will go there. So yeah, I hope you are inspired by my whole life planner, the whole thing, um, and making your own. It was really fun to do, and now I'm like ready to hit the ground running um, and being totally organized for 2023. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week.